You already know what it is. It's your boy Laid Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Drake, Kendrick, J. Cole, you up to bat. Bah! It's your boy Laid Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we got to do. You got to hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Elevate more in 2024. Elevate more in 2024. Back with another reaction now got some shit cooking up out there man a lot of y'all been hitting me up like hey lay back where you been so look i'm gonna give you the timeline i'm gonna tell you i done heard all the shit i done heard the kendrick lamar joint on future album i heard drake's this track towards kendrick i heard j cole apology um i've heard j cole this track to kendrick um so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna let you know man i think as of right now and i heard the ai joint with kendrick lamar you know what i'm saying what they say was ai and they saying kendrick really coming with some fire like the next time he shoot at drake he's shooting like he threw a jab out there but this next time you know he he really firing like a, a cannon at him so what i want to do is i want to go through j cole's apology and break that down and potentially go through drake's uh diss track towards kendrick lamar and break that down but as of right now i'll tell you my thoughts at the end but make sure you hit that like button make sure you hit the notification bell stay up to date with all the videos i've been seeing like yo lay back where you at how you missing all this i mean for some reason this ain't got the luster and the it ain't doing it for me right now I don't know why y'all let me know in the comments i know it's striking up a whole bunch of views everybody talking about it it's going crazy but for me it ain't really like it ain't really did nothing for me but anyway let's go ahead and get into it man you know i'm from carolina j cole had to gracefully bow out but we're gonna get into that fire squad what's popping let's get it me right so i'm so proud of that project except for one part it's one part of that shit. And I think J. Cole, he went kind of light on his diss track towards Kendrick. I don't think it was like a, a cannon. I think it was a little touch jab. You know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion on that record. And I think when Kendrick Lamar came out with the joint on Future Project, I think he was throwing jabs too. But he was like, I want violence. I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? He not with none of that play play. He set the trap. You fall for it. He going to shoot you that make me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did in my fucking life, right? And I know this is not what a lot of people wanna hear. I know I can hear my niggas up there right now like, nah, nah I don't do that, but I gotta keep it 100 with y'all, right? I damn near had a relapse, right? Because y'all heard some shit that happened two, two, three weeks ago, however long it was. Y'all heard that bazooka that was dropped on the motherfucking game, right? They called it a bazooka. So all of this time of me moving on my own accord, for the first time I was tested. Why am I tested? Because I got the world and I got my niggas like, what you going to do, Cole? And why they saying that? Because of what you always be saying in your records, bro. When you be talking like I'm the number one, I'm this, I'm that. When you talking like that and somebody come at you, especially a Kendrick Lamar, who everybody been waiting to see like, hey, what's going to happen with them? Are they ever going to tangle? Are they ever going to go at it? The big three ain't no big three. It's just big me. Like when he come out shooting, now people want to know like, OK, this is your time to shine. This is what you've been waiting for. Ain't it? Or no. Let's go. <laughs> My niggas like. Bit boy, I must have had a thousand missed calls. Oh my fucking god! Text flooded. I couldn't even answer my shit. Yeah, it's, it's go time. More time, boom, 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 right? Yeah. Niggas want to see blood, and and I was conflicted because one, I know my heart. You know what I mean? And like, I know how I feel about my peers. These two niggas that I just been blessed to even stand beside in this game, let alone chase chase their greatness, right? Mm -hmm. So I felt conflicted because I'm like, bro, I know I don't really feel no way. But the world want to see blood. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world want to see blood. I wonder so why. I say all of that to say, in my spirit of trying to like 
get this music out, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was, that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like. I and you know what? At first, when I heard he had apologized, you know what I'm saying? And he kind of was like, yo, I'm taking this track off of the rec, you know, off of the album. I felt the way I'm like, yo, how you going? You, you the first to respond, you know what I'm saying? You coming out, you, we like, okay, it's, it's showtime. But listening to the apology, you know what I'm saying? I'm all about being true, being who you are. You know what I'm saying? Be true, be you. That's my, that's one of my mottos. So the fact that he was conflicted, the fact that he didn't feel right in his spirit, the fact that he felt like he was off course, I got to respect that. But I respect that even more But coming out and saying it publicly and not just going along with the peer pressures and not just going along with what people want you to do and what, you know, the world is expecting you to do. And that's something that you got to applaud and something that you got to respect. Well, you ain't got to, but I do. You know what I'm saying? So it's a it's a testament to show like you don't have to go along with what people think you should do and what they how they think you should act. You act according to how you act and what you do and what you are and who you are and who you trying to be and what legacy you trying to create for your life. It ain't about nobody else. And I say that all the time. It ain't about what everybody else think that you should be and think that think what you should do. It's about what you think you should be, the person that you want to become, the person that you trying to grow and evolve into. No matter how tough and how much scrutiny you may go through by making the decisions that you make, you have to make those decisions for you first. And that goes back to self-love. And that goes back to who and what I preach. Self-love and positivity. You got to love yourself first. Love yours. I try to like jab my nigga back and I try to keep it friendly. But at the end of the day, can't jab friendly. when I listen to it and when gotta, it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel, that shit disrupts my fucking peace. So what I want to say right here tonight is in the midst of me doing that and in and, and that shit, trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this nigga's fucking uh, catalog and his greatness. I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers to ever touch a fucking microphone? Dreamville, y'all love Kendrick Lamar, correct? As do I. So I just want to come up here and be like, publicly be like, bro, that was the lamest, like, goofiest shit. And it make, I say all that to say, it made me feel like 10 years ago when I was moving incorrectly. Mm. And I pray that God align me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm going to take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. See, that's some grown man shit. But when I first heard that, I was like, come on, man. Oh, hell no. Come on, man. But... I respect his decision, man. I respect it. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, forgive a nigga for like the misstep and then, and then I can get back to my true path because I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Past two days felt terrible. Like, it let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years. Mm. So all of that to say, man, I wanna, I wanna now perform the song that's a reminder to me of getting back on the right path and getting in tune with God. And the name of the song is called Love Yours. I want to do that for y'all right now. Like I said, man, I respect J. Cole for doing that. You know what I'm saying? I respect that. And now we're here for the bullshit. Now we're here for the bullshit. I just think up in my headphones. Even though I done heard this before. But y'all been asking me to do it, so shout out hey. to my people. I could never be nobody number one fan. Uh -huh. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. Oh, your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. Yeah, here, take that. Because you were struggling a little bit, trying to get your feet under you. Let me go ahead and give you a number one. I could never be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. Mm. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage <laughs> in my city, it was friend zone. You won't Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You ain't want no smoke. You was, hey, Drake, what's going on, Drizzy? What's going on, Champagne Poppy? Pause. Come on, man, with this shit. I'm the 
hit make a yacht a pand on Backstage in my city, it was friend zone You won't ever take no chain off of us How the fuck you be stepping with a size 7 man zone? When I first heard that, size 7 man zone? Oh, hell no! In this day, niggas is pussy for real. What's up? Pop off. Let's go. How the fuck you be stepping with a size 7 man zone? Ugh. Just the part with the bite, nigga. What's up? I know my picture on the wall when you I like this. I like this though. I like that Drake with the shits, man. I like that Drake with the shits. He don't care. All right, J. Cole, you done bowed out. Salute, my nigga. That's peace. Let's go. I cook up extortion, baby. Hope for red. You've been shook up. Mm. This top told you drop it. Give me 50 likes of push ups. Cool. Your last one brick. Huh? You really not on shit. Huh? They make excuses for you because they hate to see me lit. Pull your contract because we got to see the split. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. You better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. Maroon 5, need a verse. You better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop. You better drop and give them 50. Pip squeak, pipe down. Pip squeak. Basically, when he tell you to do 50, you listen to your master. Stop playing. Stop playing. I know, I know you the big bad boogeyman and all that. Drop and give me 50 and shut up. You ain't in no big three. Scissor got you wiped down. Travis got you wiped down. Savage got you wiped down. Like your label boy, you in a scope right now. And you don't feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at hard. the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add his talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference mm. between Mike then and Mike now. Ooh. What the fuck is this a 20 v one nigga? What's a prince to a king? He a son nigga. Hey. Get more love in a city that you find nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums nigga. When I heard that, oh hell no! Shut your whole ass up and make some drums nigga. A king, he a son nigga. Get more love in a city that you find nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Mm. Yeah, I'm the six guy, I'm the front runner. Y'all nigga manager was Chuz, little blunt runner. Bang. Playing a six and you boys ain't even come from it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Cash flowing, able bread out here tricking. This beat is crazy. This beat is crazy. And this is a warm up. This is a warm up from Drake. This is a warm up, guys. He ready. He ready. Shit we do for bitch. Fresh off tour too. All right, I'm sorry. Just he doing for playing a six and you boys ain't even I'm come sorry. from it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Cash blowing, able bread out here tricking. How you tricking? Shit we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. What the fuck? Jets, whips, chains, wicked, wicked, wicked. Hey. Spinning like you trying to fuck, boy, you tripping, boy, you tripping. Drizzy chipping Dale, probably got your bitch in there. I just got him done, boy, don't make me at the chipping nail. Rolling Ooh. loud stage, I would turn, that was slick as hell. Shit will probably change if it be him, start to kiss and tell. Hugs and kisses, man, don't tell me about no s. Ooh, if your BM start to kiss and tell, oh shit. Probably change if your BM start to kiss and tell. Hugs and kisses, man, don't tell me about no switches. I'll be rocking every fucking chain I own next busy. Hey, I'll be with some bodyguards like Whitney. Top say, drop your little midget ass, better fucking. Hey, better drop and give me 50. Hey, drop and give me 50. Drop and give me 50. Hey, niggas really got me out here talking like I'm 50. Uh. Niggas really got me out here rapping what I'm living. Ooh. I might take your latest girl a cuffle like I'm Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in, this nigga turning 50. Every song that made it on a chart, he got from Jizzy. Spin that little chick. <laughs> hey, you talking this shit. I gave Kendrick his number one. Rick Ross, what is you talking about? Everything that everything that charted is from. Nigga turning 50. Every song that made it on a chart, he got from Jizzy. What? Spin that little chick, you gotta stay up out my business. Nigga, shout out to the Hooper that be busting out the gritty. We know why you mad, nigga, I ain't even tripping. Twitter shit for bitches. This for all the top dog drop and give me 50 drop drop. In that fucking song, y'all got to not start the beef with us. This shit being brewing in a pot now, I'm heating up. Ooh. I don't care what cold think that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne tripping. <laughs> I don't care what cold think. Nigga, that wasn't no bazooka. That shit was weak. Pot now, I'm heating up. I don't care what cold think that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne tripping, he is not fucking easing up. Nigga calling top to see if top wanna piece it up. Top wanna piece it up. Top wanna piece it up. Nah, pussy, now you on your own when you speaking up. You don't roll deep to this, you're not fucking deep enough. Begging cops or not, boy, you not fucking beating us. Ooh. Numbers wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking creeping up. Money wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking sneaking up. Corn by your show money, merch money feed us. I'ma let you niggas work it out. Nigga, your show money is merch money feed to us, nigga. What? Bro, when Drake get in his bag, he start talking that shit.
He started talking that shit. At the end of the day, niggas is pussy for real. What's up? Pop off. Let's go. Pop off. Let's go. Out of here, you not fucking sneaking up. Corn ball, your show money, merch money, feed us. I'ma let you niggas work it out because I seen enough. This ain't even everything I know. Don't wait the demon up. Ooh. This ain't even everything I know. Don't wait the demon up. Drop and give me 50. All you fuck niggas teaming up. What the fuck you smoking on, Kendrick? He done switched the beat on these bro. Drop a 50 bag for the mob in a spot. Drop a 50 bag, 29 for the car. Uh, I was really, really trying to keep it PG. Hey, Drake wasn't playing. He wasn't playing. Hey, and this this was the warm-up. This was the warm-up, man. Hey, I ain't even gonna lie. Hearing that shit in the headphones got me, got me turned up again. At the beginning of this, I was like, man, I ain't really too, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I don't know. Because they talk about Kendrick Energy going to be crazy on this next joint. And Rick Ross came back. I heard it. I heard Rick Ross join as well. That's fine. I'm here for the I'm here for the big boys, pause. I'm ready for Kendrick Lamar and Drake to go toe for toe and see what's going to happen. You let me know in the comments who going to win, who you got. Round one, who that go to? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. I'm gonna get round one to Drake. That's just me though. Let me know in the comments, man. Should I keep covering this? Y'all let me know, I seen your comments. If I should keep covering this, I need to see these likes go crazy on this video. Till next time, self-love and positivity, Fire Squad, I got you, you know it.